privilege and we're very excited to have Mr. Nohar, the owner of Travel Span, and his wonderful wife, Pastor Lisa. They're joining us here today and they are going to show we are going to showcase our product to them. So they are going to see our culinary creativeness here at the Legend Cookhouse via our food and our sauces. So we are going to make the food here so that they can see how we are preparing it and the audience who are watching can also see how we're preparing food. And and it will they will test taste the food and that will be the moment of truth. Right? I am sure that you can't find a more honest and fair tasting than these two folks who has vast experience in the food and hospitality business, right? Mr. Nohar been in the travel and hospitality business for how long now? 30 years. 30 years. So most of people would remember recently, about a month ago, he had the curry duck. And duck curry and duck curry competition. <laughs> I'm very careful how I say that. Because, um, but let me let you know, we sell both of them here at Legend Cookhouse. Curry duck and duck curry, right? Um, so you would taste our food and Pastor Lisa, of course, with your work, running the curry roti box and A1 supplier and helping out with the travel agency, would know what good food should taste like. So at the end of today, most of you guys are going to have an honest and fair understanding of what, or fair opinion of what our food is by these two lovely folks that are here today. So let us begin. Absolutely. Or you want, let's, you, uh, while I'm lighting up this thing, you can introduce yourself today <laughs> to the group. Well, we want to thank Rup and Sati and the crew and team at Legends for hosting us here today. This is a collaboration between Legends, a man that has much more experience and probably started this probably when I was in short pants. <laughs> and of course, with All From One Supplier and Curry Roti Box. Uh, the objective here today is that Rup is going to give us this fantastic tasting fried rice. But truly, what makes the difference would be his Legends sauce and on with us today the person that really brought all of this together and made this introduction is of course no other than miss sandy and tommy from backyard cooking or kitchen that is so we want to thank them as well we appreciate them putting us all together and while group is starting here we also have pastor lisa singh from curry roti box and of course the lovely and very beautiful miss yes. legend herself <laughs> yeah so Yes, so we'll have Miss Sati. She is, of course, the owner and chief salesperson for the sauce. So she's going to show us how it works. And we're going to have uh, Lisa helping, okay. if it's anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can start. Of course, I'm going to help with the hard work of getting the oil in there. So first we do the chow mein. Yes, so we're gonna do the chow mein. Hello, how are you? Hi. So nice to hear. Thanks, yeah, nice thanks for the uh, introduction and, and uh, coordinate to have this happen. It's really an honor to be able to to do this all together with um, these wonderful folks. So we started off with some onions and then some ora. And we're gonna put the chow mein, no? So let's put the chow mein. This chow mein bit. But if you prefer, we can do the fried rice then. All right, so we'll do the fried rice. We'll do a little switch here. You just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So I, so right now we're making the fried rice, and here we have. I'm gonna show you guys. There's different ways of making this dish, um, but I'm gonna show a simple way um, to do it if you are at home, and you can use white rice. You can use basmati rice. You can use jasmine rice. You can use any rice of your choice, right? We just happen to have white rice here today. So, the situation will be the same. You season the rice until you get the right color. That's the magic of using the legend salt. So, once you get the right color, you will guarantee having the right taste. So you're not putting the sauce in there, you're seasoning the rice. With seasoning the rice. Oh, um, nice. I can season it there too, but yeah. we want um, people at home who, once they, once you start using the sauce, you would go about it any which way you want, right? But we are teaching you thinking that you don't know it. We're teaching you thinking that you are a young individual who wants to learn how to cook right now. Well, that's exactly what's right? happening. <laughs> so, so this, is, this is the Guyanese style. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. This is what you would get in any local restaurant, including Legend Cookhouse. Okay. Um, and the Legend Resto in Florida. So this is what you would get um, from our restaurants here. So this is a sauce that we already poured into here. I, we just poured it so that we can dip, so that we can get a nice spoonful, right? So I put this is it. Specifically, the fried rice. Right? Sauce. Yeah, sauce, yeah. So okay. now you see, I put them in there and I stir it up, right? Now I'm looking for the right color. Okay. But I use one spoon in the meantime because, you know, sometimes I don't want, to, because of the size of the bowl. Like when we are doing it at the restaurant, we get mm -hmm. a preset portion right, right. and we would just like go through the motion. Of, yeah. But just because we are doing it on a fly here, um, mm -hmm. I don't know because these guys bring the rice for me. I don't know how much to put it, right? <laughs> so you just have to do, have to do it. To yeah. yeah. So I'm like you guys at home, just boil some rice and I probably get them in my fridge yeah. and she wants to. <laughs> Sandy, we didn't hear you. Yeah. You should, because it smells really good in here. So we are um, making the entire audience uh, hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she can, so she's going to just throw them in there now. And that's simple. So we kind of three quarter way finish making a fried rice. Right? With, with what? One sauce. Yeah. We didn't have to run around, get this. But you know what? We'll put a little bit of black pepper inside. Right. Good. But you can put anything you want inside, yeah. right? You can even put some meat in there. You can put chicken in there. You can put shrimp in there. You can put anything you choose to put in for your fried rice at this stage. Right? right? And once you get the legend cookhouse sauce, you practically cannot make a mistake. Wait, definitely going to try that curry Now, did, do you see that I put anything else? Do you see no. I put any sauce? No. Do you see I put anything else inside? He paid us to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the food, you know? Yeah. When it when it tasting begun, then that's when we'll know the true story. So it's all in the sauce. In the sauce. The now yeah. Start smelling that it's beautiful really aroma. Good, yeah. The aroma is being released now. You feel like you're in a seven-star hotel uh, restaurant. Yeah. You're We're gonna feel book. Not to go back to work, though. <laughs> We're gonna have to have um, no hard list us as on this travel list. Come, yeah, come and get the um, mm -hmm. a cooking and experience here at Legend and Cookhouse. And the staff is now on all from one supplier. Um, Viewers can go to the website and order, yeah. right? And yeah. legend. It's now yeah. on the on the website. All the and EBT stamp can be used to purchase.
Yes, mm -hmm. they can use the EBT or any credit cards and we ship all over the United States, all the way to California, Florida, any US states, and of course in New York as well. So think about the time that we start cooking this. How long have we been on this thing recording already? Somebody tell me. 10 minutes. Eh? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Look at that. 10 minutes. And we have this fried rice. Think about you have some guests coming over and they just call you, hey, I, I want some food and all the restaurants in Queens close. Right? And you get a fridge. You get a rice in the fridge because you already used up all your dal. <laughs> Good. So now we're going to taste it. We don't know how it's going to turn out because we haven't tasted it, right? right. So I'm you are going to be the it. first one to taste it. Now, now, everybody, everyone has this their own preference Sandy. for salt and those kind of things. That's your share. <laughs> how is it possible, oh God, this is really good. In Just on the fly, right? Just on the fly. Yes, uh -huh. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. The sauce is unique. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you can put this in. Definitely. Now remember, this is Pastor Lisa. This is Mr. Nohar. Mm -hmm. The astute businessman who's been around for 30 years. You, he's not going to lie. You know, and of course we know who Pastor Lisa is. So you didn't she teaches people how to have good lie. moral judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so on, she's gonna lie. practice what she teach. So what I want to ask you is the rice that was boiled. There was no salt in it. Before. Nothing. No, but everything is in the sauce. It's in the sauce. So yeah. I can tell you it's except really for the pepper. Really what did Sandy say? Sandy was saying something. Sandy, what did he say? Taste it for the pepper. <laughs> Keep everybody in check. <laughs> hot sauce is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. some you make the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna sell this one. That is sales awesome. for oh, sauce. So don't available. let him start talking. <laughs> 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 this is really good. I mean, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> we must say that Legend will be a brand in all from one supplier. Dot com, also at Curry Roti Box, yes. and I believe this is a collaboration that will lead into a wonderful relationship. And of course, Legend sauces are not only going to be available there; he has other stores that where he sells the sauces too. Mm -hmm. So wherever you could get it, we encourage you to buy it because the taste is really good. Really good. You could buy it from us or from someone else; it doesn't matter as long as you get a good tasting sauce for your fried rice and your Chow mein, right? yeah. um, and we have other sauces. We've got a wing sauce, we've got barbecue sauce, we have our uh, dips that we use, and we have the pepper shrimp sauce, um, that sauce. jerk sauce. Wow. Um, so, we have a variety of sauces. And, and the thing is, we make all those things at the restaurant too, so we need sauces yeah. for those things. Yeah. That's what I am to say. Restaurants don't need to experiment. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of experimenting already. Okay. We have gone through a lot of trial and error in order to get to this stage, you know? <laughs> so when a new restaurant come, a, come, come around, they don't have to go around looking right, for some right. fancy yeah, chef yeah, yeah. who is going it's to, really you know, control, control their kitchen and they lose all control of their kitchen and they cannot market their product properly. You can use our sauce, customize your product, and you can sell it a little different than other people, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have to pay expensive chefs, so you can go down on your price, um, lower a little bit more people in. And the color is perfect. You can the color. Mm -hmm. The color, color is perfect. That's what I tell you. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. So this is our fried rice sauce. So we're gonna go right ahead and we're gonna start doing our chow mein. Chow mein, as people know, is it was one of the most popular dish around the world, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't gone to anywhere where you haven't seen chow mein yet. You know, um, I believe you got chow mein in Italy. Even they have one noodle there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are we gonna cook with this one? Yeah. All right. So we'll light up this one. All right, so we're gonna start making the chow mein now, right? 
And as simple as this fried rice is, simply chow me. Now you can put in anything you want. Okay. For my Trini folks, you want to put in some bandana in there? Hey, <laughs> drop some inside and you'll be good. Sandy right. Roop is a quick, very good cook, huh? He knows all the ingredients. Yeah. yeah. So, we created a sauce. Really to make cooking this. simple, because I had issues with where all the chefs walk away one, one or two times yeah, from the happens, restaurant. Happens, yeah. um, and those days I used to work in Manhattan and I would come home on a Friday and they would be pissed off. I don't know why, what would cause them to be that upset. And, they had and, to figure it out, yeah. Yeah, they would sit in the front or sit in the back. I can't get them to go back to work so until I start doing it myself. Wow. Okay, yeah. the sauces can be had now at yeah. allfromonesupplier.com 718-551-3292 All the sauces that you see here being carried now okay. See that? Sanjay don't have, a, you know You guys made your mind up right away You didn't have to go back to you and say Hey, how do you think about no, the sauce? No, no <laughs> It's really good and the hot sauce is really good too. So you get a hot sauce and you get Chow mein is similar, similar way you will start the chow mein, put the garlic in and put some ginger. You could have put some ginger in here if you want. But the funny no, thing is, I did. did? I did. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? You did put ginger. I thought that was in the sauce. No, 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 no. Now no, no. I know. <laughs> no, those are fresh ingredients that we don't like to, yeah, yeah. you know, put them inside yeah, here before, you know? Ginger and this is the minced garlic. Minced garlic. You can use grind garlic. You can use chipped garlic. Any garlic you want, right? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna put the chow mein. So the chow mein vegetable is a little different, right? I like to tell people that cut the vegetable according to this, your, the shape of your food, right? The chow mein is a little longer, so we put a longer piece of carrot. The fried rice is shorter, we put a little shorter piece of, right? And the bora, right? The bora, you make it a little longer because it's a longer food, right? Now she's gonna put some pepper, green and red pepper, right? But at the restaurant, we generally don't put too much of that. We don't put that inside because um, nowadays cooking have to go with the generation, right? And some of these people, uh, these younger folks, don't like a lot of vegetables. They just have to pick them out. Um, and of course, at the restaurant, we do customize your food, right? You call in and say, hey, I want my food only with eggs, nothing else. And you do have that. Some people say we don't want onions in our food. We don't want no vegetables in our food. Mm. But because what? They know the food is gonna come out good because we have the magic sauce, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So here she goes. She's making this lovely chow mein. The chow mein is actually derived from her cooking. Mm. So when we were searching for a taste of how I should make chow mein at the restaurant. Um, in the when we started the restaurant, a lot of no restaurant was using Guyanese style chow. Mein. When I bring it to the Chinese, they said no, they can't do it with this. It's gonna mash up. It's too soft. I said, a Guyanese restaurant can't serve Guyanese chow mein. What's going on? And then so I went home and I said, what do you? How do you really make this chow mein? It's chow mein all states food. And um. Give me the ingredients and I down and I scale it to what I need and uh, and then we start cooking the guy in his chow mein. This guy is a good, they're very yeah. good creator. Yeah. 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 So once again, guys, we have Legend Cookhouse 135 on Rockaway Boulevard. So you could get the sauces here, you could get your food here. Or you could order the sauces on allfromonesupplier.com and these sauces would also be available at Curry Roti Box and one of Third Street on Liberty Avenue. And, and I'm sure Legend sauces are probably available in many other stores as well. So bless this business, support the business, support but the sauce is worth it. Mm -hmm. And of course guys, I don't have to mention again, you're getting an honest and the most honest and fair feedback you're getting because of the repetition of these folks, right? Now, I'm gonna throw this in. now she's gonna do it a little different because she's an expert now with chow mein, right? So she can throw the sauce while she's cooking. 
Like me, I still got to pour it in here <laughs> to get the color. So Saki, how do you do it? Do you pour the sauce in the fried rice? Do you pour the sauce in or you mix yeah, it one Yeah, I side? pour it in the fried rice. Okay. Yeah. For the chowmin, I throw it while it's cooking. Then I wouldn't, uh, so you don't want more sauce. <laughs> so this is the sauce here and this is I'm the sauce in the bottom. Right? Hold the sauce. So this, so this is the chowmin sauce. Mm -hmm. So I'll put like one spoon. And then I'll turn it up and see. Sandy, which is your favorite sauce, Sandy? I like to turn it with two spoons. See that color? Now you can adjust the color as well, right? Some people like it a little lighter. Yeah. But of course, if you go lighter, you might want to add a little bit of salt, right? Because right. Um, the, remember what I tell you, the right color, you get the right taste. Because you it was, was worked upon, worked upon in order for us to get those features in there. And you don't have to do too much of the get too much no, salt, no. too much salt. Because I'm thinking of the, the kid who is yeah. going out on their own first. And they want to cook. So my son, the youngest one, and he come home sometimes and he cook. But well, he cook with fancy equipment. Like if he's gonna cook the rice, he get a rice cooker. He's not gonna buy. And he is not gonna listen from my instruction. He's gonna read up how much water. Like I don't know what I'm doing with fried rice, you know? <laughs> and um, yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. What I like about it is just one sauce. Yeah. It's a one sauce for consistent. Yeah. So and it's the color. Yeah. You don't, can't make a mistake. And you don't have to taste it. It's beautiful. I want to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> no, while you're cooking. <laughs> oh, you never should have to taste it. No, you're telling them they don't yeah. have to taste it. But I, I want to taste it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so it's done. Oh, wow. Time to eat. Awesome. 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 Now, there you go again. What, what would you really have to do, right? I mean, the sauce is great, but if you really need to create something with all the vegetables and things, just really. I need to create that veget <laughs> so that I vegetable. <laughs> I need to create that vegetable tree that can yeah, produce all this vegetable in one place. And then it looks so yeah. easy. Must be cut up as well. Yeah, that was my. <laughs> that would have been my first career. <laughs> well, I'm past that now. We didn't hear you, Sandy. What did you say? Oh, they're all vegetarian sauces? Is that what you said? Well, I would think they're all vegetarian. I didn't, I mean, remember, we are, these sauces are coming from different sauces that you have already used. Okay. Right? I mean, some people will use the mushroom sauce, right? right, right. Um, you would use a soy sauce, soy sauce. And, and those soy kind of things. Awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so as far as I know, it's vegetarian, right? Right. Um, ketchup, um, cashew is made with with. Um, I'm showing him a sauce. Make sure you get this. Yes. Yeah, uh, so with the sauce. Sati makes the sauce look really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So this is the chow mein, right? This is awesome. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very, very good. Guys. My goodness. And we, we really suggest you try this. Try this sauce. Sandy, good. very good recommendation, yeah. Sandy. He's only Sorry, with the pepper and sauce. Tommy. Put the pepper sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. He knows she's pretty. It's spicy. It's so good. Drop the pepper on it, man. Yeah. Listen, it's really good. I will be using this for sure. And look how quickly we made these things. Mm -hmm. Stress free, right? It speaks yep. for itself. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It really does take the guesswork out of like how much, what color. Do so I now you can rest and say, hey, you guys go Just make chow mein now and sell so that I relax. You put your foot up so you don't have to. Um... Yeah. That's, one, that, that's one suggestion. The other suggestion could be relaxing in the TV and say, hey girl, make my food. Really? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I guess not in that house. I don't know. I tried that already. I would not advise anybody to try it. Wow, <laughs> this, this is amazing, and, and really, do look at the color coming in with me. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. It's perfect. That was what, like one spoon? One, one spoon, spoon. One yeah. spoon. So like a pack of chow. Yeah, one chow. spoon to a pack of chow mein. Perfect. Even though we tried to trick her and give her a pack and a half chow mein, she realizes it, that. Yeah. And she, 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 she started out one, one pack. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's just recap. Uh, this is a collaboration with Legends Sauces. Legends are located on One Thirty Fifth Street on Lib on Rockaway Boulevard, and all from OneSupplier dot com. You could purchase the Legend Sauces online. We could ship it to any part of the country. You could use your EBT cards or a major credit card. And in addition to that, Legend Sauces are available. Will be available at Curry Roti Box and Monitor Street on Liberty Avenue. They would also be using the sauce to make their fried rice and chow mein. Yes. And of course, the sauces, according to Rube, is available at many other grocery stores. So we re really want to thank Sandy for bringing yes, this all you, together. Sandy. We want to thank the Legends team, all of them that's in the background with all their cameras and doing the recording of this. And of course, the host himself, uh, Mr. Rube. And the boss lady herself, yes. Sati. So we really, really want to thank you guys thank you. for this. Yes, so you. I'm happy that you guys who are restaurant owners can see that this can be benefit to your business. Yes. Um, we encourage restaurants if they want, I mean, why go through the hassle of trying to experiment? You can be different. Your food can taste different if you use different vegetables right yeah or a different cooking process but get the right base if you don't get the right base you're not going to stay in this business for a long time um and i'm, I'm i ordered some pepper shrimp so that you can taste it as well so the show is not over yet um sati you want to say a few words before we close or I am learning from her. <laughs> All the words that she told me before, I'm trying yeah, to read. Well, thank you guys for coming <laughs> and tasting the food. Okay. Uh, but what I do want to say though, it's really, it, it's authentic. It gives, the sources are giving a very authentic taste. Like if you would have cooked it at home and it's just perfect. Mama's homemade too. So you're really good at this. Yeah. But the sauce is the key. Um, it's really good. Yes. Thank now, thank you, you can get this food here at Legend Cookhouse. You can get the same food, Legend Restaurant Lounge. And now you can get this curry and roti box. Curry <laughs> roti box. And yes. All from one supplier. That um, yeah. I am going to propose to you that we do a chow mein competition. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I think uh, Rupert is referring to the duck curry, the travel span. The travel span, you know, they had a really successful um, show. You call it, or you call well, it an uh, event? All inclusive vacation where uh -huh. you feel included. Yes, and you go there, and of course, you're not going to feel out of place with and get bogged down by the buffet. You got to look forward to the duck curry that is coming. And there's a big trip to India coming up. And there's yeah. a very big trip. As a matter of fact, this year uh, trip to India during Diwali, you're actually going to be spending Diwali night in Ayodhya. So that's a very significant event for Hindus that are visiting India. They will be able to have that one night out in Ayodhya itself. That trip is leaving October 27. We have trips to Dubai. We have trips to India again in February of next year. South Africa, we have different tours. And of course, we have the famous curry duck versus duck curry cooking competition that'll be for 2025, the destination to be announced. You all have to come. Sure. Um, now, the, what you're doing there is really a cultural expose of our people, yeah, of the Indian diaspora, yeah. right? Um, you're really connecting um, for all these years that we have been disconnected yeah. Yeah. and it's not because of um, any reason it's just because you don't have a mode of transportation but now that there is the mode of transportation there's technology you now you can connect you yeah. can connect right yeah. you can yeah. reconnect to um, 
Yeah. So I'm gonna give you guys so the taste. We have our pepper shrimp here, so they'll try it. Because of the lack of time and um, yeah. so we didn't really so go there's through. A specific sauce for so you see the yeah, time that I went run little... back there. Yeah. So I tell him to make a pepper shrimp, and this is yeah. how quick he then can get the pepper shrimp ready. For the pepper shrimp. Uh -huh. okay. Let's get Again, guys, all of these sauces will be on onesupplier.com. <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean, you guys gotta sit down and make sure you do all this food before oh, you go. Stuff, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a lot of people here, so yeah. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. Very good. So that's the presentation of this pepper shrimp, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. I love uh, the color. And and come, come in and get the color. I would feel that pepper shrimp probably derived from Trinidad, no? Mm, if you want to give it, them it, that it, one. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hello, I'll be on this side of the table. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I, I'm thinking like that. Guys, Hoop is absolutely correct. Oh this um, competition that we have going on, we take the Tasso group, you get to play your Indian Bollywood songs. It's more of a cultural event with families and friends, and my mouth is stuck with this really tasty. <laughs> Sandy, I can see why you like the shrimp sauce. Yeah, it's that's really my favorite. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the stew snapper. Mm. <laughs> so I made a stew snapper with this. Wow. Of course, that's to show you the sauce is versatile, right? You, you can make it. And you can make a stew <laughs> fish. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. maybe we can uh -huh. have a date night here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll sit by yeah. the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit by the wheel. <laughs> you could sit there and I'll hang out with Sati. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is really fantastic, guys. It's really, really good. We highly recommend it. Yeah. And certainly, I think this is, could be, as Pastor Lisa mentioned, a, a mom home cooking type mm -hmm. um, approach. Yeah. It's real Guyanese food, Guyanese style connection. Um, and we hope that, you know, by the invent of the sauce, uh, our culture can go on for a long time and. Um, by us getting places like these where people can come, sit down, interact with each other, listen to music of their own kind, uh, like they would like, and meet people that look like them. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. Be included. Uh, yeah, in that kind of way. Yeah. yeah. That's the purpose of these type of restaurants, right? It's, it's, it's to be a community hub, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, Sandy, Tommy, thanks again. Really appreciate you guys doing the introduction. And again, we want to thank our host, Mr. Roop and his lovely, lovely wife, Miss Sati. And thank, thank you, you, Pastor Lisa, for being yeah. a part of all of this No, well. I enjoyed it. Any last words you yes, want to say? Yes, well, I also want to say thank you for Appreciate putting it. all this effort into it. It doesn't seem like, if I can say, it seems like you've put a lot of thought and effort and energy into creating this. Sometimes people just do things because we just want to put something out there, but this is authentic. And thank you for the hard work, and I love everything I use, as you can see. Thank you. <laughs> 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 That's the politician you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, so, you so we're happy that we nice could have made this happen, mm -hmm. and we're out from Legend Cook House. We're Hope out. to see <laughs> you guys who are watching us. Yes. Yeah, so. right, and good luck, warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys...